Well, hello there, YouTube. Twisted here once again. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're coming today with a little pod box review from the good people over at Inakin. That's right, people. Today, we're taking a gander at the Inakin Poden. Podden? Poden. Poden, Podden? Poden, Podden, Peden, Poden? I don't know the proper nomenclature, but it's okay. We're here. We're going to talk about it. We're going to discuss it. And we're going to see what's going on with this little resiny little little dude right here. Okay, people? That's what we're doing today. We got all kinds of reviews coming up. We got an e-liquid review coming tomorrow. We got an RTA review coming Thursday. We got a lot of stuff coming. So you just, you fucking, you sit right there. It's got some stuff coming. Anyway, what this is, people, this is an 800 milliamp hour, 2 mil capacity, uh, adjustable wattage little pod box dude made of mostly resin okay you can get it in a bunch of different cool resiny finishes and it sells on the interwebs for 30 bucks now here's the thing because of all this stuff and YouTube threatening to like fucking delete my channel and shit I can't post links to stuff in the um, uh, in the fucking description anymore which that sucks so maybe um, I'll start putting fucking who, the website you can get it from it's usually heaven gifts or vape sourcing or element vape my freedom spot there's a bunch there's places my v pro i'll tell you okay and if there are places to get this i'll put fucking some shit somewhere anyway let's let's move forward people that's it's a thing we'll discuss further i'll probably do in the live stream friday but anyway let's talk about this people and the first thing we got to talk about is packaging that's right folks packaging you open this bad boy up and you got a manual and you got your little dude and your little pod okay all right dig deeper and you're going to find a lanyard and your extra coil this thing has a replaceable coils pretty cool uh the lanyard's pretty cool because it's got a usb charger built into it and it says potent on it and that's pretty cool i think it's cool that Anakin does that with the lanyards it's dual purpose man it's efficient it's the right way to do things and I appreciate it. But yeah, that's the packaging right there, folks. That's the packaging. And then we got to discuss this little guy. And first things first, I want to talk about how this pod goes in and out. You got a little button on the side that releases it, even though you can just pull it up, but it's probably best to press the button. It's something go, it only goes in one way. It doesn't go in the other way. It's got a certain shape to it and it only goes in one way. Just want to throw that out there, okay? <laughs> first things first. And speaking of the pod itself, uh, it's pretty simple. You know, it's got a little flap on the side. You fucking open it up, put some juice in there, two mil capacity, nothing crazy. And to get the coil out, you do a little twist. All right, you do a little twist and it pops off and there's your coil. It's a replaceable coil. These are 1.3 ohm coils. No sub ohm coils in here, unfortunately. These are all mouth to lung, meant for nick salts more than likely, which is what I'm using in here. But uh, yeah, it's just a little single vertical coil, a little 1.3 ohm. Maybe I would have liked like a 0.5 or something, but uh, you know, maybe this isn't meant for that, I guess. I don't know. I always like my sub ohm stuff, even with nick salts, you know what I mean? But anyway. That's the pod, that's the coils, you get two of them, that's cool, two mil capacity, that's not that great. But anyway, moving on. You got a little, you can you can do this two different ways. You can either just suck on it, it's draw activated, or you can use this little power button. Three clicks on and off, and when it's off, you can adjust the power. It's only from like eight watts to nine watts, but if you just hold it down, it'll switch colors, you let go, and that's how you pick your stuff. So yeah, if you wanna just go, I didn't press anything. I just took a drag, and then you want to hit the little button. Also optional, okay, see what's going on here? And uh, as far as the shape of this thing, shape's nice. It's got the nice metal around the sides, the resin on the front and back, it looks good. Everything's good, but then damn it, you get down to the bottom, and there's two things I don't like. For one, the charging's on the bottom. Never really care for charges on the bottom. You gotta lay your stuff on the side. It's just not my thing, I never care for it. And for two, it's not USB-C. It's micro US. Ugh. It's micro USB. Couldn't even get that out. That was weird. Uh, so yeah, I wish it would have been USB-C and I wish the charging port would have been on the side, but beyond that, I am not complaining. Okay, I'm not complaining too much. Overall, this is a pretty solid little dude. Feels solid. It's 800 milliamp hour, so the battery's decent, especially a 1.3 ohm. Probably get through most of a day before you need to plug it up. And um, it, it looks good. It's a good looking little pod box, dude. I just wish a couple of things. The only cons I really have is I wish it had sub on coils. I wish the tank was a little bit bigger. And I wish it was USB-C charging on the side. 
Now this might not be what they were meant. They got all kinds of fucking, Anakin's got a million products. This might just be meant for a little something something for Nick Sauce, okay? And if that's the case, you know, that's fine. But those are things I would like to see in my little resin pod boxes. But overall, I like it. It's a good looking little thing. It feels quality. Uh, and uh, it's like a, it's like a, I wouldn't say luxury, but it's like a refined little pod box for little bitty Nick Sauce thingies. Not bad. Hey, the vape's pretty good. These coils aren't bad. Even at 1.3 ohm, it's still getting a really satisfying hit. Super duper smooth. The Nick Salt's coming through. I got some 35 milligram boosted Nick Salt's in here, and it's coming through great. But yeah, that, that is the Anakin Poden, people. Hopefully, you understand a little bit better. Overall, I like it. It's a solid little thing, and the vape's good, so I really can't complain too, too much. Not too, too much, all right? Oh. I was about to say links are in the description, but that would be a lie. They're not in there. Bubbles, fucking little things will be in places. I don't know, I still gotta figure this out. But anyway, man, you gotta stay sexy out there, all right? I am out. Vaping saves more lives than Christmas.